today we are starting a new module that is nitrogen compounds nitrogen compounds in nitrogen compounds first we are discussing nitro alkanes and nitro alkanes and alkyl nitrites alkyl nitrites okay nitro alkanes and alkyl nitrites nitro nitrogen compounds first we are discussing nitro alkanes and alkyl nitrites look at here what is the general formula of nitro alkanes nitro alkanes the general formula can be written as r no2 and in alkyl nitrides the formula can be written as r o n o actually nitro alkanes r no2 alkyl nitrides r o n o what is the difference between these two here also you can see that r o n o means what is that r n o2 r n o2 this is also r n o2 r n o2 r n o2 but what is the difference between these two you can see that in nitro alkanes in nitro alkanes the alkyl group is directly attached to nitrogen but in alkyl nitrides the alkyl group is directly attached to oxygen that is the difference between nitro alkanes and alkyl nitrides example for nitro alkane you can write ch3 no2 what is this one nitro methane nitro methane therefore generally nitro alkane here you can example what is that ch3 o no methyl nitride methyl nitride so in nitrogen compounds first we discuss aliphatic nitro compounds aliphatic nitro compounds in aliphatic nitro compounds there are two types of aliphatic nitro compounds one is nitro alkanes and the other one is alkyl nitrides the difference between nitro alkanes and alkyl nitrides in nitro alkanes alkyl group is directly attached to nitrogen and in alkyl nitride alkyl group is attached to oxygen same molecular formula this is rno2 this can be also written as rno2 but the difference is that here is r is attached to n here is r is attached to oxygen and uh, first we discuss nitro alkanes nitro alkanes nitro alkanes okay as i have told you what is the form of how you can write written r no2 what is the actual structure of r no2 you can see that r en double bond o and here it is o minus of course the uh, nitrogen is getting a positive charge and uh, how this nitrogen is having a positive charge and the oxygen is having a negative charge look at it here we know that the nitrogen outer electron is 5 now outer electron is 1 2 and 3 4 4 5 what is the number of outer electron of nitrogen 5 nitrogen is in the fifth group outer electron is 5 okay out of five electron you can see that one electron this electron is shared with this carbon and here is a bond is formed and the second electron is sharing with the oxygen third electron is also sharing with the oxygen so 1 2 3 3 electrons are used for making three bonds 1 2 3 bonds now remaining a pair of electron a pair of electron a pair of electron is there that pair of electron will be donated to oxygen that pair of electron is donated to oxygen and hence what type of bond is forming here coordinate bond coordinate bond that is the reason since nitrogen is donating a pair of electron nitrogen is getting a positive charge and oxygen is getting a negative charge or the same thing can be written as r n double bond o here it is a three electrons are used for making three bonds 1 2 3 3 electrons used and remaining a pair of electron that is given to oxygen so this is a coordinate bond this way also you can write rno2 can be 
uh, the actual structure can be right, uh, can be written like this or it can be written like uh, uh, this anyway this uh, this bond is a coordinate bond that is the reason nitrogen is getting a positive charge and oxygen is having a negative charge so this is nitro alkane structure now next is uh, next is uh, nitro acy tautomerism tautomerism what do you mean by nitro acy tautomerism look at here CH3 NO2, CH3 NO2, nitromethane, it can exist in another form, okay, look at here, how the other form of nitromethane, look at here, CH3 can be written as CH2H, correct, and NO2 as I told you, N, double bond, O, here of course you can show like the coordinate bond or with a positive charge and a negative charge, that way also you can show, and you can see that, uh, suppose this bond breaks from this hydrogen, the bond is breaking from this hydrogen and what is happen, uh, happening, this bond is shifting to here, clear? The bond breaks from hydrogen and is shifting to here, it will become a double bond. Simultaneously, what will happen? One of this double bond is migrating to oxygen. This bond is moving to oxygen, therefore oxygen is getting a pair of electron and a negative charge, clear? The bond breaks from hydrogen, then the H plus is out and the bond is shifting to here, here it is double bond. This bond is so shifting to oxygen, oxygen is getting a negative charge. That time this negatively charged oxygen will take this proton, removed proton and what we get, we get a structure like this, CH2, CH2 and here it will become double bond and here it is N and O minus that O minus is taken this H, so for it will become OH, of course here it is uh, clear, this way also, so this nitromethane can be shifted to this uh, form also, okay, this form also, and once, how this form is forming, look at it here, CH2, uh, CH3 can be written as CH2H, the bond breaks from hydrogen and it is shifted to here, that time this bond is migrating to oxygen and oxygen is getting a pair of electron and a negative charge. That electron uh, negatively charged oxygen will abstract this proton towards it, it will become OH. And uh, now this form, the first form is called, this is called nitro form and this form is called AC form. And of course, you can see that uh, there is an equilibrium between nitro form and AC form. But when I write the equilibrium, you can see that uh, the reverse uh, 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 mark is longer than the forward uh, uh, reaction that means uh, based, look at the mark. that means uh, the equilibrium will always have a tendency to which direction nitro form that means uh, even though there is a nitro form and a C form the compound is always having a tendency to exist as a nitro form why nitro form is uh, more stable or why the compound is having a more tendency to exist as a nitro form than a C form. Look at the reason uh, for that. So keep it in mind, nitro alkane can be exist in two form, nitro form and acy form. That is what is called uh, nitro acy tautomerism. But you can see that uh, most commonly the compound have a tendency to occur in the nitro form. What is the reason why uh, 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 nitro form is more stable? First you want uh, nitro form. Nitro form is more stable, more stable, stable uh, than a C form, than a C form, nitro form is more stable than a C form, why nitro form is more stable than a C form, because first reason, nitro form, nitro form, okay, nitro, uh, 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 nitro form can be, can be stabilized by, stabilized by resonance, resonance. Nitro form is more stable, nitro form is more stable than, than a C form, a C form, okay. First reason why uh, nitro form is, uh, uh, why the equilibrium is always shifting to nitro form, first reason, nitro form is more stable than a C form. Why nitro form is more stable than a uh, C form, nitro form can be stabilized by resonance, that means R 
in double bond or here instead of uh, as i told you uh, you can write it uh, as a coordinate bond or you can show with a charge in minus and here it is correct this is the uh, nitro form nitro form look at it here how the resonance stabilization now this this one this is a negative charge means a pair of electron this pair of electron will be shifted to here so here it will become double bond that time what will happen this one of these double bonds will be shifted to oxygen so you are getting the first resonance structure like this here it is n now this will become double bond o and here it is o minus of course the positive charge is here and in the next step what will happen as you know very well this will come back Okay, this pair of electron is coming back and that time what will happen, this bond will uh, go back. Okay, so again you are getting R, N, here again it will become O and here it is O minus, of course here positive charge. That means uh, this type of resonance stabilization is possible in nitro form. That is the first reason. So, nitro form can be stabilized by resonance. Now, the second reason. Why? Why a C form, a C form, or why nitro form is in equilibrium position? Why the compound is existing in nitro form? First reason, nitro form can be stabilized by resonance. Second reason, look at it here. CH three NO two, CH three NO two, or I can write this as CH two H N double bond O. Correct. Correct. Here it is uh, O. How the AC form is forming? In order to form the AC form, what is uh, how I told you? How, uh, how AC form is forming? CH2. This can be written as CH2H. Then what is that? Uh, N double bond O. O minus. I told you this bond is shifting to here. Then what will happen? This will go there. Then it is. Do you think that simply the bond will shift to here? Without any external agent, do you think that simply the bond can break from hydrogen and it will be shifted to here? No, it is not possible. Simply the bond will not break from here and this mechanism won't happen. So, in order to break this bond from hydrogen, there must be an external reagent like a base NaOH. Suppose if NaOH is there, Na plus and OH minus. This OH minus, this base removes this proton, then only what will happen, the bond breaks from the hydrogen and it will be shifted to here. Otherwise, this won't happen. So, in order to break this bond from hydrogen, we need a base like NaOH. So, what will happen, the OH minus will take this proton, that time what will happen, this will be shifted to here and as we have discussed, this will go there. So what will form? You can see that uh, CH2 double bond, here it is N, this is our coordinate bond and here it is what will happen O minus and you can see that uh, uh, H and OH minus, OH minus and H plus what will eliminate? Water molecule will be eliminated, then what is remaining Na plus is there, this Na plus is joining here Na plus, that means we get a salt, we get a salt, okay. That means, uh, what is that, uh, in the presence of a base, what will happen, this hydrogen, that means uh, this is alpha carbon, nitrogen attached carbon, NO2 group attached carbon is alpha carbon, the hydrogen atom present on that carbon is alpha hydrogen, alpha hydrogen will be replaced by a base and we get a salt, this salt on acidification, dilute, dilute acid, dilute acid, that means H plus, if you can take it as a uh, HCl, HCl, that means H plus and uh, Cl minus is there. So when it is treated with a dilute acid, what will happen? O N A will be uh, N A plus will be replaced by H plus from the acid, and what we get? We get uh, CH2 double bond N. Here it will become O H, and here it is our uh, Minus, what will form? If you take HCl minus NaCl, what will form? Minus NaCl. This is a C form. A C form. So, in order to uh, get the a C form, what is required? We need a base. We need a base. Then only the nitro form can be converted to a C form. That is the reason why in the equilibrium state, the nitro form is more uh, or 
you can say that the equilibrium you will have always tendency to form a, a nitro form because nitro form is more stable first reason and nitro form can be stabilized by resonance second reason what is that in order to convert a C form what is that we require a base followed by acidification that is the reason uh, the more uh, stable uh, uh, stability of uh, nitro form okay and thank you we continue in the next video